Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another review and as you can obviously see here today's theme is Star Trek. Now you might have, if you have not gone to see my Comic Con video, go check that out where we've got the Star Trek data action figure and we've also done a few other um, Star Trek related content here on the channel as well. Um, I'm yet to do a Star Trek collection. Um, I need to do that soon. Um, I'm just trying to get as much Star Trek stuff as I can right now because I absolutely love Star Trek. But two favorite Star Trek series is the original series and uh, Next Gen. Um, so as you can see here, we got these Star Trek Lights and Sounds Communicator. Uh, it's sort of like these little, uh, little boxes. And then we got the Star Trek light up st uh, Starship Enterprise as well. So they come in these little boxes and I'll show you what else they come with besides obviously what you get. So let's start with the communicator. Now, um, I got my communicator today, but the batteries unfortunately are dead. Um, so it's not going to work. But once the batteries are up and running, um, I will uh, do a video of just the, uh, the more in-depth review of this, but you can see it is an original series communicator. It's got the dials and buttons and everything. Um, but the buttons don't work. These are actual working buttons because the batteries are dead right now. Which is a bit of a shame, but hey, as long as it's just the batteries are dead, shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, so let's put that aside for now, considering it can't really review much else, except for, I mean, it's decently sized. It fits in my hand. It opens and closes like in the show. And yeah, so that's it for that. Let's have a look at this, which I'm super excited about, the Light, light Up Starship Enterprise. Um, they can see the switch here, but just before I put the, uh, the lights on, I just want to show you how detailed this Enterprise is. Um, super detailed. It has USS Enterprise on it, NCC-1701. Uh, you can see all the windows, as well as the bridge there as well. Uh, Super detailed. It looks like it's right out of Star Trek. Um, give you guys a bit of a close up here of all the little details as well as that. Um, the underside. And uh, yeah, it's definitely much more accurate than the model, I, the actual uh, huge model Enterprise I have, which I need to, I'll probably show you in my Star Trek uh, collection. And you can also see here this really cool Starfleet Academy base. It says 2013, which is the year it was probably released. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that. that. This looks like it's loose, which isn't too much. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to, I guess I could show you with the lights on and then I'll show you with the lights off. Um, so let me switch it on right there. And there you can see it is super awesome. You can see it lights up all the way down to the neck of the bridge, which is super duper awesome uh, all right so this is it with the lights off you can it looks pretty awesome it's actually quite bright um so yeah i mean it's pretty dark up in space so it's super awesome absolutely love love this this is so cool um probably my most favorite star trek model that i have gotten so far um shine light on the communicator here super bright it's actually really really bright which is awesome um so yeah this is just like a, a little miniature to go on your desk or wherever you want to display it um it's pretty cool and uh yeah if you all righty so yeah this is absolutely awesome uh it's super duper cool um if you're a huge star trek nerd like me or star trek fan um and you love star trek as much as i do this is a great addition to your collection. You know, you can put it on your desk. It's also a great present for anybody like me who does love Star Trek. It's a super cool present. You know, you can put it on your desk, uh, underneath your TV, on your TV unit, wherever you want to put this. It's super small. Well, not super small, but it's small enough that it can go in pretty much. It doesn't take up too much space. Like if you have a Star Trek collection, a huge Star Trek collection like me, um, well, it's a growing collection. Um, and you don't want it to take up too much space. This is pretty cool as well. I mean, it does come with this cool stand, but if you want, wanted it to look like it was flying, you could. I mean, easily just hang some string around the body and hang it up wherever you want to. 
Um, but the base is a nice addition. I mean, you know, you don't have to worry about it toppling over when it's on display. It's super, super neat. So, uh, yeah. And also the communicator as well, which I will do another separate video on. Um, talking a little bit more about this. Because, again, the batteries are dead. Um, so, yeah. If you guys want to see that, um, it'll hopefully come soon. Um, you can see the... It's really, really cool. Um, it looks like what... Um, what would have been used in the original series. It's a pretty cool prop. And yeah, so also in the boxes, let me show you, you get these little uh, books, which I think is, is, is pretty cool. Um, get it out. You get these little uh, Star Trek books. So this is about uh, the history of communicators. So if you want to stop and pause and have a read of that, you're more than welcome to. There's the Tenet of Horror right there. Production. When Star Trek debuted in 1966, you can read that if you want, I'm not going to read that whole thing out. That's the uh, transporter room. This is super awesome. So that's, yeah, that's one right there. It's a handheld communicator, similar to what we get in the box. Um, actually, not similar, it's pretty much, yeah, an exact replica. I mean, <clears throat> that's pretty darn accurate. I think even the buttons, yeah, everything. This is on a slant as well. It should have another silver panel up here, but it's pretty, pretty accurate to the original series. Oh no, there's a there's one that doesn't have that silver thing up there. I absolutely love these. So cool. I'm going to spend some time sitting, sitting down and reading this. There's some of the crew members here, Spock, uh, Dr. McCoy, Uhura, um, Sulu, Chekhov, there's just some of, the, some of them I can recognize. If you want to stop and pause and read any of this, you're more than welcome to. Um, and there's an image of the Enterprise, which is pretty cool. And the bridge of the Enterprise. doing a Vulcan salute. It's got some pretty cool images in it as well. From some Star Trek episodes. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And another, uh, it also comes with one with the Enterprise as well. The Enterprise also comes with one. Let me show you. So when you do over the box, it, it comes in this. Um, game in there, and you also get a little instruction booklet just to how the how it works. For those of you who are curious, I'm not big on unboxings. I'm actually going to turn this off so I'm not draining the battery. Just have a look at it one last time because it's so great. Um, but yeah, this is. I'm not big on unboxings. I just like reviewing the product and show you guys the box art because these boxes are pretty cool. Um, so you get one for the Enterprise as well. Uh, so, Starship Enterprise. There's Gene Roddenberry, he was the creator of Star Trek. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I just love Star Trek. It's it's so great. Um, I love it a lot. It's one, definitely one of my most favorite franchises. There's Spock playing the harp. Um, the original series, of course, you have to love the original series. That's cool right there. It's the uh, Enterprise um, firing at probably an enemy sh uh, starship. Or, um, yeah. It's probably firing uh, its torpedoes, probably. That is so cool. Sh short range travel. Um, yeah, the little, uh, escape, well, not really escape pod, sort of like a short travel from the surface of the planet back to the Enterprise. There's the, uh, transporter. There's Kirk and Spock. First Officer Spock and Captain James T. Kirk. Yeah, that is really neat. Uh, I, I definitely, there are, there were some next generation stuff as well, so I might get that. These are super neat. Um, I love these things. These are awesome. 
Uh, if you do want to get your hands on some, I definitely recommend you do. I mean, these are super great. Um, and yeah, highly recommend that you, uh, that you get some for yourself if you're interested in this kind of stuff. There are also tons of other similar things. Um, you can get them on Amazon as well and other places. I got mine from my local bookstore, which sells tons of collectibles like this. Uh, but yeah, I love this, so, um... Yeah, so that's that. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully with some more Star Trek content soon. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.